So what's going on? Uh, when I woke up, I realized I'm standing on some kind of planet and there are stars in the sky and the sun. And um, what's my relationship to this? I also have a, a mental model of that happens, right? So I, I know that I, I imagine myself seeing myself on this planet and it's scars in the sky and so on. And how are these two spheres related to each other? And uh, the a traditional answer that existed for this is called dualism. Dualism means you have two worlds, the world of imagination and thought and the mind and the physical world, and they coexist. And each of them has its own rules, so to speak. There's basically the, the rules of the mind and the rules of the physical world and there's just two of them. The physical world has basically much, much more detail. And uh, this is the idea of um, uh, dualism is that the physical world um, is simplified into the, maybe in the mental world. No, the, the idea of dualism is that they coexist in some sense. There's the idea, uh, the idealist uh, model. The idealist model says that we are living in a dream. So uh, basically everything is only in the mind. There's only mind, consciousness, is the most uh, is primary, the mind is primary, and the physical world is a dream that we are having. And uh, our own mind and our own self and our physical world itself is in a dream that is dreamt by a mind on a higher plane of existence, like a god or something like this. And then there is the idea of monist materialism. So it's, there's only, also only one thing and the physical world is primary. So I'm standing in this physical world on a physical piece of rock that is trading through space. And I look at the moon and the sun and the stars and so on. And I'm having ideas that, and these ideas are realized physically in my brain with a physical machinery. And most people in our civilization believe in this monist materialism. And in, in the previous civilization, people were dualist. And in many Eastern civilization, people were idealists. So they believe that it's only one thing, which is the mind. In the dualist thing, there's two things, the mind and the world. And in um, monist materialism, there's only the physical world and the mind is generated by the, the physical world. And uh, the perspective uh, that I think how it really works is what I call functionalism or computationalist functionalism. It's basically, there is a mental world that, uh, that looks like the physical world to us. And then there's a world of ideas that looks like the world of ideas to us. And they're both dreamt by a mind on a higher plane of existence. And that mind on a higher plane of existence is, is the true physical world that we can never get access to. Right? We, this is the thing that is out there, uh, outside of your mind, outside of your dream. You can never get outside of that dream that you are locked in. But what you perceive right now, all the colors and sounds are all made by your own brain. All, and this brain is the mind of the higher plane of existence. This is the God that creates the universe. And there are probably other brains like yours and they interact in this physical world and so on. But everything that we know about this is stuff that your own brain has figured out. Right? It's a discovery of your own brain that there are other minds that have brains and that the brain creates your mental representations of the physical world and of the uh, world of ideas. So I think this is how uh, the physical world and the mental world and our experience of the mental world and the world of ideas are related to each other. 